What's up guys, it's your boy Siobhan here back with a new video and today I'm going to tell you guys about Filmora. It's a great video editor for all users at all levels and it's at a great price as well. And the reason I'm bringing this video to you guys is because I really like Filmora because the company is developing features and effects requested by YouTubers right from their comment section for their channel. And if you're looking for a simple thing to create good content, Filmora is the best thing for you guys. I've also set up something for you guys, so watch out to the end of this video so you guys can get a discount and a coupon code. If this video gets 500 likes, I'll also give away a free Filmora latest version package. So as you can see right now, I'm importing some images as you guys saw a while ago. And it's very, very easy. I just went to import, import media files, and I just picked the destination. Also, you can play around with the the sizes of the video and also the size of a timeline so you just get it to your likings i like a lot of space down in my timeline which is really good and also guys just click the link down in the description to download filmware for free and try it out if you like it go ahead and buy it also the discount code is down in the description for you guys as well and remember if you guys get this video to 500 likes i'll give away a free film or a full package everything so get working so right now guys i'm just speeding up this video frame right now so the clouds look very nice as you guys can see it looks like a time lapse not really a time lapse but the video was really slow and i speed it up to 10 times i also can slow it down but that would make sense here so i'm gonna do now is split it so i can delete the rest of the image delete now i have couple seconds of this wonderful opening so what I would need now is another frame to go there to start up these are just some stock footage I leave the channel links down below where I got these stock footages if I play that now we just jump so what we would need we would need a very good transition my favorite transition as you guys know is the dissolve transitions so let me just add the dissolve transition real quick right there and it's very easy the timeline is magnetic so everything just clips on which is very very nice as you can see that that transition is very smooth that's what i really like about filmora it lets you preview everything everything is easy and also very nice to use now we want an opener which is called a text so you see i'm in the text file and we have all different categories and i'm looking at openers this one is my favorite you guys should see this one all it's in all of my videos but you only have this one in the latest version of Wondershare Filmora so I think I'm going to use that one or let's try one of these spring packages so let me just drop it on the timeline right there and that that, that looks nice and it also goes with the season spring fall yes so you can also change the color bowl it you can change the line spacing, the size, all of that. Remember guys, if you want me to like start a film or a series, just comment down below in the description. I'll post a lot of videos like how to add lower, lower um, text, how to blur images, all of that stuff with Wondershare Filmora, how to color grade with Wondershare Filmora. I'll be posting a lot of videos if you guys like it. And also I've been doing a lot of giveaways on Wondershare Filmora. So just let me know down below and remember to get this video to 500 likes and i'll definitely give away a full package of the latest version of wondershare filmora anyways back to this video i'm making an opener so i'll just put my name like chevron films or something as you can see right there then you just hit ok and what's good is that wondershare also lines up the center so if you're writing text you'll always be in the center you won't be off centered and that's what they've improved in the latest version of wondershare filmora so now I'm just getting some video footage of a man holding a phone and a child playing on the beach. But what I wanted to get from here is like this man 
is basically videoing this boy but what I wanted to do is color grade so as you can see I hit the color grading icon and here's where you can change the temperature and you have a bunch of stuff I won't get into detail now but now I'll just use a preset which is Mission Impossible and that's the official Mission Impossible um, <laughs> color grading I have right there so now if I just play this video I'll definitely need a transition as I said before and you can also change the duration of the transition by clicking the clock and then adjusting your duration so if you don't want it to be too long you just want a quick transition this is the best way to go for it as you can see right there it's very very smooth smooth sailing guys <laughs> so now I'll split that because I want it to be looking like he's recording this child but he wasn't he was just recording the beach but that's what I'm trying to get across here that like he's recording the child playing and all of that so I'll just chop up the, the footage to let everything look like he's playing and now I'm just saving the preset so I can easily add it to the rest of the videos that are playing so now remember guys to put all your color grading on every video so everything's everything flows if you have one part color grading and the other part not color grading it's not going to look good now guys i'm going to show you how to pan and zoom this is one of the latest features on the new wondershare filmora so i just want to go to crop pan and zoom and then move the cursor to where you want it, the image to stop at and be sure to put it in the 16 by 9 aspect ratio so i slow down the footage to let this kid look very happy it's it's very cinematic what i'm doing right now and that's the look i'm going for and i'm also zooming in which gives it a really really nice look and that's basically what i did so the rest of this video now i'm just going to play it out if you realize i have a lot of things on the timeline there it's because i was editing the video i basically did the same thing as i showed you guys before but with just more footage so i didn't mean i didn't want to show you guys that because it's the same thing i did over here i'm going to show you how to add lower thirds basically go into titles go to lower thirds and you'll find a bunch of lower thirds don't worry guys wonder she will be upgrading the lower thirds they're they're online based so everything is online you don't have to upgrade the program you just go into more effects and check if they have new packages then you just download that package run an administrator and it will install directly onto wondershare for more remember guys get this video to 500 likes and i'll do a giveaway also now i'm adding a music track to the timeline as you can see right there and what's good about this is that you can easily edit the music file you can edit the sound volume you can make it fade in you can let it fade out you can also change the pitch let me just show you guys what i'm talking about so here you have speed volume fade in fade out pitch equalizer and what's great as well you can also remove background noise which will be very very good if you're recording something outside so wondershare also has a youtube channel to help you like guys it just helps you create better content so you can go over and check them links down below in the description and last but not least i'm showing you guys how to export so i export in mp4 and also i export in my resolution it's not 720p i export in 1080p you can also export in 4k if you want and you can also choose your frame rate so i have a slow motion in there so i'll definitely choose 60 frames per second right there and you also have the quality if you have best quality the size is going to be larger so guys you can also lock you can also choose the finish action so if your video is finished exporting you can choose to shut down your computer you can choose to get a sound reminder or you can just choose to do nothing i normally just do the sound reminder because that's great so guys remember if you like this video drop a like down below comment what you want me to do love and tweaks. Chevron signing out.